All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna cover some more saxophone products. So you've probably noticed that, boom, I got myself a lavalier microphone. Now I already bought one before, but I got one that's got the 3.5 millimeter jack and I got a new phone that is just USB-C. So I went and bought this one because I thought this one was exclusively dedicated to a USB-C, but it's not, but it works with the adapter and it works pretty well. So I'm gonna use that in pretty much the rest of my videos for the talking portion. And then I'm gonna use my microphones whenever I'm doing the saxophone playing. That should cut down on all that excessive traffic noise that goes on outside. So this is from Purple Panda here. If you guys are interested in something like that, you can pick that up. And I don't get a commission. This is just me having bought this stuff. I bought it out of pocket with my own money. So Purple Panda, not very expensive at all. I have an Xbox controller. I use my Xbox for pretty much my media stuff. I don't really have TV per se, but I use Xbox to watch Hulu, HBO, all of that and whatnot. And sometimes it just gets really loud. So I got myself from Hunter Spider here, some headphones. These are like $21. I got the wired ones that just plug right in. In hindsight, I probably should have got the wireless ones, but they were much, much more expensive. Now with Xbox being my main uh, media hub, I watch a lot of videos and I just play by ear as part of my regular practice routine, which is the whole point of why I'm talking about this. I don't really game that much, but I figured if I did get back into gaming, I'd get one with the microphone. I picked this up for around $21, $22. This works out quite nicely. This looks like a do-rag or something like this, but this is actually a bell cover for your saxophone. If I just grab my alto here, this is a nice bell cover. For those of you that like to put stuff like necks and stuff like that in the bell, it's nice to put this on afterwards. So that way when you grab your saxophone, stuff doesn't fall out and get damaged. I've already caught myself uh, using this and having it save me some money from having my equipment damaged because I don't really use I don't put anything in the bell of the alto, but I do for the tenor. And sometimes I forget that there's stuff in there. Also, it's a nice kind of uh, moisture recovery piece. So many times on gigs and brass players, you are the worst. There's just puddles and puddles of water that come from the bell of these instruments. If you do that, you have something like this. You just pour it. This thing absorbs it. I have some peroxide. I got like the little tiny bottle. I don't have it here, but I got the little tiny bottle of peroxide. Spray that thing, disinfect it, or just wash it. And then you're all good. But having those little puddles, that it's disgusting. All right, so this thing, very handy. Also, it doesn't really mute the sound at all, except for the bell tones, but not really. So if you were to leave it on, while you're playing, it doesn't really matter. It looks kind of cool also like that if you're playing, but at any rate, one thing that we as saxophone players should definitely never be without is sandpaper. Not just for your mouthpieces, but definitely for your reeds. I picked up this pack on Amazon. I think this was around seven or eight dollars. It just has different grits of sandpaper from I think 500 up to like 8,000. You can pick this up in various degrees. Also, this is really, really handy for really being able to fine tune reeds very cheaply. I know that there's other reed filers that you can pick up that are close to $100. Some of them are more than $100. I can't yet justify spending that kind of money on something like that. So in conjunction with this microphone, you guys will be very happy to know that I picked up microphone isolation shield. All right, this is what it looks like. I'll flip the camera around and show you that. Uh, the thing is, if you get something like this, you still need to do some soundproofing. I think that when I do the recording and stuff like that, the weather's pretty much shifted, even though we're still kind of in a new heat wave but you still need to, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, that'll test whether this is working. But at any rate, you still need to soundproof stuff. I'm gonna close that window and get some more 
uh, foam so that way it's not such a distraction. In fact, let me show you what this looks like. These are really good microphones, so they pick up a lot of sound in a lot of different directions. And here's with the blue microphone, I have it there. I use that in conjunction with my complete audio interface there. So if you have some good XLR microphones, ladies and gentlemen, just be aware that if you pick up a USB-C to USB-B uh, cable, that's the one, the USB-B is the one that goes to like old printers and stuff. Um, it won't work. It doesn't work on all of my interfaces, but it does work on the complete audio too. Okay, so let's take a look at some more stuff. So here I got a music stand, ladies and gentlemen. So it has these clamps here to keep stuff down when it gets windy outside. But this thing is, it's not small or frail by any means but it is very prone to blowing over if some wind catches this thing. So on the bottom, if you go to a hardware store, you can usually get some sandbag weights and weigh it down. So if I was using something like this, I most definitely would not use an electronic device, a smart device. Some people that have the big uh, like eye screens and stuff like that that they put on stuff like this, I would not use that outside, only for inside recording or stuff like that. Something like this is very, very convenient. It's collapsible. You guys know how this whole thing works. Okay. So here I have an air purifier, ladies and gentlemen. I know this isn't like exactly a saxophone product, but we know what kind of times we live in now, ladies and gentlemen. So the company that I most recently worked for, the cruise line, they had an above and beyond policy, which is whatever the rules are, go above and beyond that. So if you're social distancing within six feet, do 10 feet. I mean, it's this kind of mentality. It rubs on you and you really start to see the benefits of doing something like that. I like something like this, even though it does make some noise while I'm practicing. I'll usually just turn the Xbox on, put some music videos on, put some headphones on, and then just kind of zone out playing by ear and making sure that I'm keeping myself up to speed with all the stuff. I and mean, hopefully when everything starts to die down, you haven't like lost anything. You've just gotten better because we do have a lot of time to practice. At least I do anyway. So um, on a not so good note, ladies and gentlemen, Teespring is actually increasing their percentage that they take from the merchandise that I sell. They are doubling it from 10% to 20%. It's like, really? So. I'm going to slightly increase the price of the saxophone books. I'm still going to be getting a loss from what I was making before they doubled it, but I am going to be lowering the price of everything else to kind of balance things out. So I want to thank you guys for sticking with me, hanging with me and watching these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can buy me a piece of cake. I will put a link down in the description. And of course, I have my Alto and my Tenor Altissimo books that are available as a digital purchase. So that link will also be in the description below. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. See ya!